All right, what is going on, you guys? Brian here with a three re, three show recap in one video. Um, I'm going to be recapping tonight's episodes of NWA Power, which uh, I watched um, AEW Dark as well as MLW Underground, uh, giving a brief recap of what happened on each show this evening. So we're going to start with NWA Power. Um, this was my first episode back watching NWA Power. Um, I haven't watched it in a real long time, so I figured uh, I'd watch it because each show was an hour long, which I really think is... I, I really enjoy it. really um, gets me into watching wrestling again. I haven't been watching... Uh, Dynamite f or, or um, Raw and SmackDown the last few months. Um, uh, I, I will catch pay-per-views here and there as far as WWE is concerned. Like, I watched Elimination Chamber, I think it was the back in February, and then Royal Rumble I watched in January. I didn't watch WrestleMania this year because I had to work. And, like I said, I didn't really keep up with much as far as that particular show. I mean, I know, you know, on social media, people, you know, they they put it out there on social media as far as who won. So, I know who won, but I'll wait till it comes out on DVD to watch uh, the show. Um, but, here we go. Uh, but, NWA Power... AEW Dark and MLW Underground. Um, I really want to start getting back into watching those. I mean, like I said, I bear, I can't even sit through. Um, I gave up trying to watch Raw, SmackDown, um, and NXT, AEW Dynamite. So if I can watch an hour wrestling program that's an hour long, I'll be happy. So let's just get into the recaps. On NWA Power, uh, of course, this Friday, uh, this Friday night, um, NWA has a event coming up. Uh, I believe it's NWA Three Twelve. Uh, happens in Chicago, um, and then they're going to be doing some TV tapings. They're going to do some tapings uh, the next day uh, for their NWA uh, USA show and. Uh, NWA Power, but on this week's episode of NWA Power, we saw Ella Envy and Roxy of Pretty Empowered. They defeated Kylan King and Samantha Starr in a in a in tag team action. Homicide was victorious in one on one competition. Uh, we heard from the we had there was an interview segment with the NWA Women's World Champion Camille as well as the junior heavyweight champion, uh, Carrie Morton. Uh, we, there was an interview with Roland, Rolando Freeman. Uh, we saw a, they showed a match from the last big NWA event, Enough Said, with, between Kratos and Thrill Billy Silas Mason, that saw Silas pick up the win. We heard from Pretty Empowered, who apparently have some big matches coming up this Friday at NWA 312. And then Aaron Stevens, the former Damian Sandow in WWE, he was victorious in a in a Titanic Tampa street fight uh, over Rolando Rolando Freeman. Uh, so that was pretty much it for NWA Power this week. AEW Dark. A.R. Fox defeated Pre uh, Pretty Peter Avalon. Willie Mack defeated Serpentico. Layla Gray, she was victorious in one-on-one -on -one action. Uh, the Varsity Athletes, Tony Nice and Ari Davari, they were victorious in tag team action. Lee Moriarty, he was victorious in one-on-one -on -one action. Evo Uno of the Dark Order, Defeated Cesar Bononi in one-on-one -on -one action, in one-on-one -on -one competition. And in the main event of this week's episode of Dark, it was Tony Storm of the Outcasts. She defeated Ki uh, Kiara Hogan. 
uh, in the main event of this week's AEW Dark. Uh, so now we move on to this week's episode of MLW Underground, which I have really been enjoying uh, since they put it on uh, reels on Tuesday nights. Uh, MLW Underground, uh, anyone that has not seen it or has not checked out MLW, I would recommend checking it out on Tuesday nights on Reels. Uh, that's R E E L Z Reels, um, because I actually have looked. I look forward as far as the week. I believe it was back in February is when they started airing the episodes on 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 the net on that network, and I've actually I actually look forward to Tuesday nights watching MLW so MLW thank you for piquing my interest again as far as watching wrestling um, because honestly I like I said before and earlier in the video I don't really watch Raw and Smackdown and NXT that much or AEW Dynamite um, I like it and I'll watch certain pay-per-views like Royal Rumble and, and this year's Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber I really wanted to see. Um, I didn't watch WrestleMania this year, uh, this past weekend, because I had to work. And plus, you know, it was. Um, so I'll have to wait till that comes out on DVD to watch the entire event. But MLW has really, uh, really, when they've really piqued my interest as far as m making me having, making me have something to look forward as far as wrestling wise. Looking forward to the watch on television on on Tuesday nights. Uh, hopefully they keep they keep on that network, um, you know. But we'll have to wait and see. So on tonight's episode, uh, we heard from Real One, uh, who cut a promo about his uh, match next week, his uh, four way first ever MLW dumpster elimination match uh, between himself. Uh, Matthew Justice, uh, Mance Warner, and Microman uh, that ended with Warner, Justice, and Microman all uh, trying to get to real one. Then we saw in a hardcore match Ricky Shane Page of The Calling, Raven's uh, new group in MLW, he defeated the one called Manders. Of course, uh, Ricky Shane Page of The Calling and Manders uh, will be a part of War Chamber coming up in a couple of weeks, as it will be Alexander Hammerstone, the MLW World Champion, teaming up with Mance Warner, uh, Matthew Justice, and the one called Manders uh, to take on The Calling in War Chamber, which is their equivalent of War, which is MLW's uh, version of War Games, with Raven, Ricky Shane Page, Akira, and their fourth uh, team member. And Ricky Shane Page on tonight's episode of of MLW Underground picked up the win over Manders um, in the in the hardcore match. Uh, we we also saw tonight on. Uh, MLW Underground for the Dragon Gate Open the Twin Gate Tag Titles, which is their which is Dragon Gate's uh, tag team titles. Natural Vibes defeated the FBI, uh, the Full Blooded Italians, to retain. We heard we saw Alex Kane and Mr. Thomas of the Bumaye Fight Club. They drew their numbers for the upcoming Battle Riot. Uh, that will be happening on uh, MLW Underground. And in the main event, it was Lince Dorado successfully uh, retaining the World Middleweight Championship over Delirious. Uh, during this, or before this match, Leo Rush, who, has, who held the MLW World Middleweight Championship for 119 days, I believe is what they said, uh, he would come out and say that he was going to be on commentary to watch this match closely. Obviously wanting to get another shot or wanting to get a shot at that middleweight championship. Uh, after Lince Dorado retained, 
Leo Rush would get in the ring. He would present uh, Dorado with the championship and then would attack him. Uh, and uh, and he would attack Lince, hitting him with the championship belt and then walking out with the title. Basically, as, as the commentators put it, stealing the title. Um, so uh, that was pretty much it for that. So um, to wrap up this video... Um, for you guys that watched either any of these episode, any of these shows tonight, let me know what you guys thought of them in the comments below. This has been my recaps of NWA Power, AEW Dark, and MLW Underground uh, for this week's episodes or for this week. As always, I am Brian, and I will see you next time. See ya.